hello and welcome to Hi. our almost bi-weekly stream. Today I'm here, Maggie, and I'm here with Felix. And we are going to talk about um, uh, game dev in general, of course, but mostly Avorian dev. And we want to wanna talk about the release today. Yes. But first, Felix, why don't you introduce yourself for those that maybe have <laughs> never watched us? Okay. Yeah, hi. Um, my name is Felix. I'm the uh, game designer here at Boxware, and I'm doing a lot of the non-programming stuff. Uh, for example, uh, I am writing the missions, I'm writing dialogues, um, I'm supporting uh, programmers like you uh, with testing, for example. Uh, yeah, that's uh, most of the stuff I do. I did the trailer, uh, which yeah, I'm uh, very amazing. proud of, still very proud of. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Maggie, as you said, uh, or yes. as I said, you're a programmer. Uh, yes. What is your job here? What are you doing? Yeah, my job as a developer is um, a little bit of everything, but mostly I tend to put things in code that Felix is designing. So most of the missions, most of things like the autopilot, and this stuff uh, is done by me. And uh, yeah, most of you probably know me as well as Sefeni because I was a long time our support leading person <laughs> <laughs> but luckily we have some really really awesome working students now that do most of that, that work so I don't have to do it anymore now I get to fix more bugs <laughs> that's way more interesting yeah yeah exactly so uh, as always uh, a little recap um, what the last stream uh, was about um, yeah, we talked about the exploration mission a little bit, uh, yeah. mission, mission that was new uh, in this time, which we, uh, yeah, uh, which we uh, did uh, the last <laughs> stream. Uh, we talked about the, the beta feedback uh, which you gave, which was very, very helpful. And uh, the surveys, of course. Um, Constantine uh, talked a lot about um, the, the scaling of enemies, why we are scaling them, how we are scaling them, and mm -hmm. basically why are we not scaling them most of the time. Um, and a little bit about uh, the, the turret factory and the inventory in general with the mass markings of trash, uh, so that you can uh, faster, you can research faster and uh, sell all your trash at once and don't have to click every single time. Uh, yeah, the inventory management yep. was a huge part of that, yes. <laughs> exactly, um, which we also showed. Um, but yeah, that was the last stream. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, we, we did something like uh, since last stream. Oh, Maybe yeah. you can talk a little yeah. bit uh, about this. There happened a little event, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think everyone knows what we are talking about. Um, we did another beta. We did another beta, yes. <laughs> no, but mostly, of course, uh, we had the release. We finally pressed the button. We felt we were ready, and we are super amazed that it works out, worked out so well, and super happy with it. And uh, yeah, quickly added a hotfix patch on the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Not because, uh, luckily, it wasn't that there were any really major issues, but there were lots of small things where we were like oh, those are really easy to fix. Why didn't we do that before? Yeah, some small oversights uh, that come up when lots of people are, are playing at yeah. once. Where so. we finally saw them and thought, oh, yes, of course. Uh, so the first hot fix was pretty much about those things. Little oversights like, uh, yeah, we um, had one bug where we... Uh, changed how lasers in the background are working so you players never noticed anything but we noticed because our log files that we got sent were full of error messages yeah. that was one of the fixes that we did immediately <laughs> yeah so uh, all in all yeah it went really really well yeah we were Feedback very excited is pretty positive right now we had a few issues with one mod that sadly uh, made Rift sector is empty for people. That yes. was really annoying. Uh, I, I think we, we mentioned it in some of the uh, in, in the Steam forum and maybe on Discord too. Um, yeah. If you have this problem, uh, look out for it. Uh, it's it's a problem with the mod uh, that basically alters the, the how, how sectors are generated. 
and of course we do sector generation inside the rifts yes so, and somehow that clashed more yeah. than the outside sectors ever <laughs> did yeah but uh, the author of the mod is already fixing it and it should be fine in a day or two exactly but uh yeah. as you mentioned uh, we have the big release how was the release for you um it was really really amazing um at first super tension <laughs> because it is always a big step to release something like this we worked since december on nothing else yep and we put a lot of thought into it and it was of course um it wasn't like um that we we worked to death or anything but the constant working at every day at a hundred percent and the tension involved in that and then we tr press the button and we, the first feedback that we get is yes it's amazing so the waiting time was best, uh, was really cool or, or uh, i i'm missing a word here like um tried in german uh, hat sich gelohnt. it what it what is it was worth it yeah the waiting was worth it yeah the DLC is out and, and it's really cool to play. And that takes away so much of the tension. And then we're sitting there with, huh? Exactly. It? And he likes it. He likes it. Yeah, it, it was like it. also great that we had the, the betas before. Yeah. And yeah, the betas gave us a lot of con confidence that we're not working in a totally wrong direction or anything. So with the missions, because the Rift missions are something so new in the game mm -hmm. and we wanted to, them to be replayable at no end <laughs> basically we had to change so much on the sector generation because in the first iterations we did it in a normal sector as you guys always know like a pirate sector or something it was so boring <laughs> so with the new sectors and that you guys actually like those really really big sectors um yeah that helped us a lot Plus, the feedback provided on bosses and the mission itself, like, is it too hard to play? Is it too easy? That gave us a lot to work with. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially the surveys also helped. Yes, uh, we, we had the surveys uh, in which we also um, gathered some statistics. We, we showed you uh, last time a little bit about it. And uh, this feedback uh, we got there helped us a lot, especially with... Um, Balancing, for example, uh, we had to have the the two bosses in the uh, Exotan Core extraction mission. Yeah, that's very combat uh, focused. Yes, uh, where we have the the Masticator and the uh, Master Shielded Summoner in the end. And yeah, we realized when we watched uh, in the statistics uh, that the Master Shield Summoner was way harder than the Masticator, which we weren't expecting at first. No, we always tested it and it went pretty fine but that was because we were testing it on trinium level with shields and everything <laughs> yeah so um yeah the, the feedback helped a lot there uh we also had uh, little issues um with, with different stuff not 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 big things but but all the small things we get from the feedback helped us uh yeah big time yeah yeah also about the uh, just kill time of the shield drones and such things. And uh, yeah, one more big thing for the release was, of course, um, that we finished in time. Yeah. Because we didn't in April already say, oh, yeah, we are we are going to release in three months. That was really good, good that we didn't mm -hmm. do that. So we had the time to uh, in the last weeks. Um, we were already feature complete. And then we started playing it ourselves and we played and played. And every time we played, we noticed a few more little things that we said, OK, we need to fix that. Yep. And uh, it's really amazing that we had the time to do that. And um, yeah, the first Masticator <laughs> it was too hard. Yeah. Yeah. For example, that um, would shoot. Yeah, basically. As soon as he spawned, until you flew up to him, he already had full fighters and was getting ready with the first salvos of Or torpedoes. second or third. Or second or third, depending on your ship. 
So, <laughs> that was a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah. So you guys never got to see the masticator on uh, drugs. Basically. Yeah, but in the end, we are very happy with the DLC uh, and with the release. Uh, it went, after all, very smooth. Uh, as, as we said, we had some uh, little things uh, in, yeah. in our hotfix we did. Today was another little hotfix, just like an hour before or an hour yes. ago. Yes, um, um, with the, because we noticed and you guys uh, reported us very, very well um, the, um, that the auto turrets got reset. Mm -hmm. That was the bug that we introduced with the last patch, actually. <laughs> and what was the other thing, the big thing? Uh, the um, the spikes in in loading times for if you collect loot with alliance ships mm -hmm. that should be better now too. Exactly, but yeah, just small stuff. Uh, we we had the time to to actually do, which is great. No no big issues, nothing. Mm. Uh, like we can't start the game. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as I said, we are we are very happy right now. Um, we are very happy to to have finished it, um, to to yeah have have achieved this this goal. So mm -hmm. yeah, maybe uh, as a little celebration, uh, let's play one of the missions together. Yeah, yeah, and we can go over what we thought on the different things in the mission. Exactly. We thought just to on get a bit into the talking different things in the mission. Exactly. So we thought just to on get a bit into talking different things in the mission. Exactly. So we thought on get a bit into talking different things in the mission. Yeah. Exactly. So there it is. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. It's a rescue mission. Up to you. We already accepted the mission. So, um, so, People can hear us. Okay, so the, the in-game sound uh, seems to be <laughs> much too loud. Sorry for this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we, we had to turn it off. Yeah. But most of you should know uh, what the in-game sound sounds like. And we don't have uh, the sound too, so let's do it with a... Yeah, silent yeah. experience <laughs> for both of us <laughs> <laughs> for all of us yeah <laughs> so first thing of course is the transporter which uh, is a new oh yeah we have the uh, new thing also uh, the go-to exactly i want to uh, show that that's amazing okay. so yeah why did we do the transporter and not just let people jump into the uh rifts uh, it's, it's very easy we want uh or we have the, the, the uh, mass constraint um, to, to make it easier to, to balance uh, the enemies. Uh, we talked about this in the last stream, if you want uh, more oh, insight. I'd uh, say more it's possible to balance the enemies at all. It's, it's effective, yeah, effectively possible to balance So that you can't just build an ever bigger ship and yeah, then you win the fight. Exactly, but uh, if you want more insights in, in the thing, uh, just uh, watch the video on demand of the last stream um, where Constantine talked a lot about this and yeah so we have this teleporter which brings you into the rift turrets. oh we don't have weapons on it right now oh, yay, yay. so that's our little cheat menu yeah where we get new stuff um, yeah so the, the teleporter was a way to, to, to go into the rifts and to yeah, make it a little bit special uh we also don't want people to like go in a, in a specific rift sector so um the teleporter brings you just into the rift uh which is also shown um the the sector doesn't tell you coordinates inside the rift but only those uh, question marks so 
yeah, it's, it's everything a little mysterious. You're, you're not able to just jump in and jump out um, because there is basically inside the galaxy, there isn't a technology to, to jump in and out of rifts. This is very new. We have those, uh, the, the teleporter, those special technology, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work on ships. And Avorion hyperdrives or engines allow you to jump over rifts, but not into them. And this is still true. So yeah, we wanted to make it consistent with uh, the, the game logic and also what yeah, basically helps us to, to, to suit everything we wanted to. <laughs> Can you just close the, oh, yeah, the thing down there? That's, yeah. uh, this one is a new, new galaxy with all the hints enabled. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the last changes for the teleporter was a go-to because um, we noticed that we as staffs uh, always used our go-to button yep. that is not available for players. And uh, why not give it to the players as well? Exactly, especially uh, when uh, people just failed a mission and, and want to retry it. Yeah, uh, We want, yeah, we want it to... to make it as easy as possible and not to fly like depends on where you come back from the rift 30 40 50 kilometers um, so the, the go-to is, is like a fast forward kind of uh, that just brings you near the teleporter so, so you just have to fly in and can restart the mission which we will yeah. do right now so, so it wasn't that exciting on this uh, short distance but as I yeah. said, if you have 50, 60, 70 kilometers even, um, it helps a lot uh, to just, if you want just to retry a mission. Okay, so. Yeah. Then I start the mission. Yeah. Then start a mission. Uh, we have this uh, point of no return because of course, yeah, we want people to warn what happens uh, when they go inside Rift. You, you can just continue. Um, okay. And yeah. Put it, me on invincible or anything. No, that's oh. okay. We will, we will do it. Um, so, yeah, we have this point of no return warning because I want people to know that when they go into the rift, it's not like another sector where you can jump out, but to explain to players what happens if they yeah, use this teleporter. And leave the rift, or want to leave the rift. And, and want to leave the rift, exactly. And we also introduced uh, some warnings, uh, which we didn't had, which we didn't have because our ship was prepared. But if your ship mm -hmm. uh, has too much mass, for example, or if there are some environmental effects um, that influence your ship and you're not prepared for them, um, you get a warning uh, so that yeah, people aren't thrown in there and then just will yeah, lose die their ship. without being able to do anything exactly. against it. Exactly. So yeah. it was a very important part that we um, warn players yeah. yes because we want the rifts. rifts to be hard we want them to be not uh, or if you go in there unprepared yeah you're not supposed to make it <laughs> to come out alive again but of course you have to have a chance exactly and uh we also we talked about it some streams before um we improved the possibilities of players to retrieve their ship uh, their, their ship um, which is free, that's the English word I, I just missed, uh, which is free on your uh, reconstruction side right now. So, yeah, we, we, we want people to, to try uh, rifts and to do their best. And if they fail, that's okay. But uh, it should be hard enough, though, so people have to prepare. And But it should be easy enough to retry them so people can try it and don't get frustrated. Yes. So, yeah, this mission was actually one of the first, I think, we, we came up with. Um, that could be, yeah. Because, yeah, it's it's something that comes up, comes in mind very... Yeah, very easily. Very easily. Whenever so, you have a sci-fi setting. Yes, yeah, so somebody gets missing or uh, is lost somewhere. Um, so, yeah, we have to, to rescue this uh, lost expedition. Um, yeah, we, we are following right now the, uh, I learned it how to say it, buoys, kind <laughs> of. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, and the beacon, the beacon of hope. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, and, and those, um, yeah, flashing uh, yeah, things, um, which are actually different on, on every connection. So we have those big uh, monoliths. There are multiple monoliths and they are connected uh, with these uh, flashing beacons. And every beacon or every connection between those beacons has a different color. So um, this is something we introduced because, yeah, we realized it's a little bit hard to um, find your way through the rifts. And in the beginning, they all had the same color or the ultimate beginning, there wasn't anything like this. There, there were only yeah, those yeah. asteroids yeah. connecting the, the monoliths. And we improved this more and more. And then we had uh, them in one color and now they, they are in multiple color and they have a direction, a direction. So they are flashing in, an yeah, in a kind progression. of progression. Yes. Yeah. That, so that you can see uh, where you already were or exactly. in which direction to go. So. Uh, yeah. We reached this uh, communication beacon, uh, which the, the Lost Expedition uses to interact uh, with the player. And yeah, they're like, okay, cool. Uh, thank you. You are here. Um, just give us, uh, give us the rescue pods or emergency pods. Not sure what we call them in English should be. Escape pods. Escape pods, yeah. So give us the escape pods and... Have to be careful not to fly into the teleporter here. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, help us uh, leave the, the rift. But nobody te uh, told us something about the escape pods. So, yeah, we have to collect them now from uh, the, the ships. The, uh, yeah, the scientists the arrived scientists, here yeah. uh, in their own ships, of course, and they managed to break them. Exactly. So, so we, we uh, have to look out for first, other... Uh, we got the marker boys. Ah, I would exactly. put down one. Uh, you can... No, that's not a mission ah, item. That's not a mission so, okay, so you have to look for them. Hit the wrong button. And you configure them, I'd say, green. And, and the flag? The position. Okay, the position, okay. Flag is good too. Let's take it. So, um, that's something we uh, also introduced, uh, which helps a lot in uh, finding your way through the rifts, uh, those marker buoys. Uh, where you can set a color and an icon, and if you want a text too, uh, yeah, which just helps you to, to find back. And now we should go and look for those uh, wreckages uh, of yeah. the scientist ships. I'm gonna take my teleporter. So, yeah, we have those. I'm very uh, proud of those. Yeah. That's one of my things. <laughs> we, we have those uh, anomalies uh, inside sectors. They just appear and this one is, is like an yeah insect or wormhole kind of yeah uh, which like... teleports you from one point to another inside the rifts oh this one was easy to find so we got just the message that i'm at the right spot and there is something glowy yeah. golden, golden glowy thingy <laughs> the the glow thing is, is also something we introduced while we realized that it is hard to find stuff inside the rift it's very dark very mysterious, which is exactly what we, we wanted it to be. Uh, you have to attack the, the cheat drones. Ah, yeah, you, you I'm are. doing that. My auditors are attacking okay. the boss itself. And yeah, we, we just realized uh, all those wreckages and then other stuff too is, is just hard to find inside okay. uh, uh, the rifts. So we, we added this globe. I think we talked about this in the second or third uh, stream. It, it's also on the Videos on demand. If, if you want to know more about it, just uh, rewatch the, those old things. Ah, it's going to attack the attack platform ah, that's over there. Like so. you. Fine. So nice. Fine by me. <laughs> fine for you. Yeah. And yeah, the, the glow also stops if you interacted with it and, and did everything you needed to. And now, because we want the escape pods uh, on our uh, ship, those are glowing. So now. We are connecting with them. <laughs> Little problem here is uh, you, you put your yeah uh, I have two docks. docks that are pretty close together exactly. Um, that was in the patch today as well. The docking has improved or should be improved. With um, the dock actually pulls it now into 
its its corridor first, and then starts to move it towards the ship, mm -hmm. which should fix the problems. Like um, you pull something towards the ship, and then it spins off, and you can't catch it anymore because it spins so much. <laughs> so that should be fixed now. Yeah. Yeah, and then is it that thing? Yeah, if you, if you want to be really fast. Oh. In strategy mode, it should show yeah. me as well. Uh, you can uh, have it on, on the on the right side. Yeah. Is there it is in here? Or is it... No, it's not in there. Yeah. I see think it. they destroyed it. Do you, can you see it? I, I can't see it, but that's okay. Yeah, I just died. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but you still have the the blinking thing from the uh, emergency beacon, so the blinking white um, marker. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe you should fight off some of the Xoltan. Uh, that's the attack platform currently. Yes, but there are a lot of Xoltan in front of you and on, on, on your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the attack Pretty platform cool. is, is uh, also something we introduced just to keep players invested in what they do. Mm -hmm. So, it is possible that you are. On a, on a low rift depth with a good ship, with a very good ship. And which we are now right, right now. Which we are right now. And <laughs> uh, you are destroying the, the Xoltan very fast. And we want people to, to have to do something and not just to fly from point A to, uh, to point B. So we, we have these platforms, those attack platforms, which are sitting in between the monoliths. In the paths, yes. Uh, on, on the pathways, yeah. And which attack everything that comes near them. That might help you. Uh, I had a lot of missions uh, where I was very happy that the attack platform just attacked the Xoltan from which I was fleeing or tactical retreating, kind of. <laughs> um, a tactical retreat, never flee. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we also have uh, the protection platform in the beginning, which just shields you from the environmental effects um, because we realized it's a little bit annoying to, to come into a new environment and already getting all the stuff that is inside the yeah, rift. For example, we have the, the flashes right now uh, that target your ship. And... Lightning flashes. Ah, yeah, yes, yep. of course. But... Yeah, and uh, additionally, if a player has a lo uh, longer loading screen time, yep. he shouldn't get punished for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and But are those protection platforms might spawn everywhere or, or at least at er every monolith. And we also uh, have the repair platforms or nano dock uh, platforms, they are called in game, uh, which repair your ships or yes. ships. They and repair ships and uh, restore broken blocks. Exactly. And uh, your at, shields. At first, they, they just repaired your ship, like a uh, repair laser would do from, from a friendly ship. But we realized uh, that that's a very cool f feature that you. Uh, actually, I'm way can too overpowered, by the way. <laughs> get get your blocks back. Yeah, but you have to remember you are not allowed to build inside rifts. Yes. So, if you're inside a rift, you can't just leave the rift or leave the sector or repair yourself as you could do in a in a normal sector. So okay. we needed ways to, yeah, basically do exactly this. Let's see. Destroyed. Um, I think they push the, the communica communication beacon away it should be uh, near the uh, here, monolith the, over there. There's something glowy green. Yep, yeah, exactly. Mm. So, um, you, you uh, where was it? Yeah, so, exactly. So we wanted the repair platform to be like, um, like a repair. It's very not durable, so. <laughs> so, um, once it starts repairing, your ship, you have to protect it because the um, Xotan might destroy it or, and they will destroy it very fast. So, yes. back to the mission. Uh, you reached the makeshift emergency camp where you had to just dock the uh, escape pods, which are now manned escape pods. So, there are people on them right now, um, which we want to uh, rescue. So, uh, and yeah, now we... another one, I can give him another one. Exactly. It doesn't do anything because two is not enough, but... But uh, we did the, the, the basic thing. We, we rescued 
um, the scientists, which uh, the scientists that gave us uh, oh, this is quest. Much, much more bet uh, much better than before. Yeah. So uh, we, we saved the. We, we did the basic uh, thing and uh, rescued the, the scientists. And we're now able to get a better result by uh, filling three escape pods instead of one. We already filled two. Yes. So, yeah, I'd say just. Should I look for another one? Or? I think you should because there is a special um, reward if you rescue more, more than, than just the, the basic stuff. Yes. But right so. now you're able to, to leave the rift and it's on the. <laughs> Well, I reckon it's fine. So, yeah, if, if you made the, the, the basics for, for the mission, you're allowed to, to leave the rift. In this case, uh, we called. have the ripcord. We have the ripcord right now, exactly. Easy. So we can even overstay a bit because in case we uh, get in trouble and, and uh, are almost destroyed, the ripcord is an instant teleport, so we should be fine. Not Almost that it instant. Does anything I think it takes I have, three, I think I have... three or four seconds. That's why I take no damage. Impenetrable shields went over 80%. Huh. So, yeah, the, the, the ripcord isn't completely instant. It takes three to five seconds yeah. uh, to, to load, which can be a very long time once your uh, hull is low. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not completely instant. Yeah, but, but it's much more instant than like a wormhole generator or yeah. something like that. Uh, a little tip here from uh, the developers. Mm -hmm. um, when you have the extraction where you have to uh, start the uh, ancient gate, you yes. can start it in the beginning of the mission, which helps a lot because you, you can do this while proceeding with your mission. So you have to collect the, the activator and the battery and put them all together uh, near the uh, gate. And at the ga and the gate will take two minutes to load. But this time is wasted when you, or not wasted, wasted is the wrong word, but this time is, is, is a very long time <laughs> once you are waiting for it to... Uh, when you're waiting on it. Yeah. When you're waiting on it and everybody's attacking you and your shields are down, everything. But if your shields are up and uh, there are only some Xotan uh, that are attacking you, it's much more easy. Yes, I always do it in the beginning. And you can just flee by boosting towards the, the gate. Ignore every warning you get because who cares if there are more Xotan spawning yeah. and attack attacking you. You just want to flee and you can just go to the gate fly through it and yeah, rescue yourself. So there is a there are a lot of possibilities on, on how to do the missions. And yeah, just as a little tip, um, if you have some conditions to to meet uh, that, that help you to, to leave the rifts, same with the uh, wormhole, you can activate stuff earlier so you don't have to do it when time is running out. Yeah, true that. So. I'm just a bit weird that uh, we have proton breeders here, but we have... Ah, because I were to, was supposed to collect samples. Ah, exactly. now I understand. You have the, the secondary target, which you ignored till now. Yes, that's why all the fighters were <laughs> flying around. Exactly. So right now we are on a on Rift Step 8, I think. Yeah, it can was. look it up here. Rift Depths Oh, Rift Depths 2. So, so okay. I'm completely overpowered with this ship. <laughs> just, just a little bit, yeah. But... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not make it easy for us? <laughs> Why not make it easy? Um, as, as we mostly wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, speaking about... Uh, well, it leads nowhere. Uh, just uh, because I saw it right now, um, the containers, the two on the right are green because they are already manned, there are people in it. Well. And the one on the left is still yellow, or the, the glow is still yellow, because it's like a normal interaction thing right now. And 
yeah, it's a mission item that exactly. I have to do something with. Which I will do now. Not far anymore. We are now able to, to rescue the, the crew of the ships too, and not oh. only the scientists. Oh, no. Because you know the, the, the scientists that gave you the mission, yeah. so on, on the research research center, they are a little bit <laughs> bad. So Yeah, they're career driven, basically. Yeah, they they want their, their mates um rescued and, and their the equipment and the, the research data has to be rescued, but exactly. the crew itself. So the crew is replaceable. <laughs> and uh yeah. yeah, they are happy if you rescue the crew, but it is not mandatory to rescue them. Yes. So we did it right now, so we get an extra uh, reward uh, in the yes. end. I go out of the rush now. Exactly. So you can activate the ripcord uh, with this little uh, icon, but you also have it in your inventory. Oh, yeah, because I... we got a lot of questions uh, how to use it. Um, it's basically an inventory item which gives you the opportunity to use it via the quick button. Oh, yeah, it's a new galaxy. <laughs> we ran to the adventurer. I hope that we get the other uh, thing now. Yeah, we, we tested yes. this. So we now get our reward. Um, the reward depends, of course, uh, from the, the rift depth you're yeah. going in, um, but also from the difficulty. And this was very low. <laughs> so we just get we those get blue rare. But this one is a good one. I like it. Okay, so let's take it. And you. And yeah, we get a, a scientist, a tier three scientist actually, um, because yeah, we rescued the crew, and uh, the captain is happy, and offers us to join him. Yeah, to join us. To join us, of <laughs> course. Um, and. Which is the best way to get uh, scientists and also Xoton Hunter captains. Exactly, and because they are level uh, tier 3, they already have their secondary class, in this case a daredevil. Interesting yeah. combination, mm -hmm. like uh, I'm, I'm thinking of a scientist which just goes crazy when he sees his enemy. Ah, or, or she let's call it him. applied scientist. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so. Yes, and we are overcrowded now because we, I have too many people. <laughs> Exactly. So, yeah, we, we get him yeah, as or, or her as passenger, and yeah, now we get uh, we got this new captain from the mission. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. That's one of the ways the, that you can play. And uh, what we wanted to show you as well is um, because we got the question, especially in the beginning of the betas. Um, there's a special mission that, of course, here isn't. Yeah, we can reload ah, the script. I know, I need to go further in. That's a mission that's only available once you have shields. Uh, which one are you aiming for? The Fight the Swarm okay. mission. Where's the rift? Yeah, we, we, we have our possibilities to. Oh, the player can do that too, actually. <laughs> That's still <Shh>. possible. <laughs> can scout ahead. Yes, so we're close enough. That means that we can spawn one of those things. Here, there we yep. have it. Yeah, this is our special Into the Swarm uh, mission, uh, because we got a lot of feedback that people wanted to yeah, basically take their behemoth of a ship exactly and, into and the rifts throw and throw them onto enemies. With that, it's possible. You can put, uh, you can take any ship that you like, or ships, or ships. Doesn't matter. There is no limitation for your mass or size or size or whatever you you want to to take with you. Yes. Everything is allowed, but enemies are actually scaling. So the more you're bringing, the more they are bringing. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's a high rift depth. Uh, those are hard, really, really end game missions. Yes. But yeah, it's a possibility to to mess yourself 
not to mess yourself, that was German, um, to, to compare yourself to the... Uh, to the best the galaxy can offer, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the high rift depth is, of course, as well, because players, players can build ships better than our AI can, our procedural generation can. So yeah. we get a little help in how to balance this mission by doing uh, harder uh, environmental rifts uh, effects. Exactly. And yeah, the other missions we have, what do we have? We have the, the rare minerals where we have to mine. Yeah, we have a mining mission. Uh, and we have course... the recovery of materials, which has three different, a little bit different kinds of uh, where yeah. you have to salvage. Basically three flavors. Yeah, that, that was the word I was missing. We have the explorer uh, sector mission. Yeah, you know, exploring the, the explorer the unknown simply for uh, players that want to chill, yeah. who want to just have the fun with, for example, gravity anomalies or yeah. something. Which are basically the, the, the most sandbox missions because there is no goal to achieve. You can leave whenever you want to. Uh, we have, of course, the, the rescue of a lost expedition mission. And yeah, we have the, uh, the extract sort of core, core extraction is missing from here. Exactly, which is very combat focused. Yes. So that's that's a more of a combat mission. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you will still have to fight a bit, but you can get around mostly without fighting. So maybe five to ten ships that you have actually have to fight, and uh, all others you can basically ignore or lead them to attack platforms and the attack platforms will be with them. It depends a little bit on, on the rift depth too. Uh, the deeper you go into the uh, rift, the, the harder it is to ignore uh, <laughs> That's true. the, the Xotan, but especially on, on the lower rift depth. Um, yeah, the, 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 the non-core uh, extraction and into the swarm missions are very, or are possible to do without much or too much fighting. Yeah. Exactly. So, I think, I think that's that about it uh, with the mission. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, we what, what, to, yeah, what, what, we what are, are we doing, doing and what we will do in the next few weeks? So, yes, of course, we're doing maintenance for the DLC and patches. Uh, we already have those two uh, hotfixes. Yeah. Um, we we did. So. Yeah, you know, uh, the maintenance for the DLC for us is basically what we did the last few days already. Um, we have the bug reporter where you guys um, can submit bugs um, yourself with a free text and uh, you describe what happens. And we have, of course, um, an automatic. Uh, Crash reporter, we call mm -hmm. it, because every time your game crashes in whatever way, doesn't no, it doesn't mean you have to notice that it actually crashed. But also, something if, if, in if the a, a script, crashed. for example, crashes. Yes, um, we get uh, an automated report and can uh, get the stack traces and can um, look up what the problem was, um, and we can show that. I think that would be the easiest. Ah, so. Yeah. I want to see it too. You guys already see it, as far as I know. So yeah. I think this one. No, no we we are on the, uh, ju right. let's, let's start let's, with the crashes. Yeah, crashes are fine too. Um, that's just um, that is uh, actually an old one, an old patch, where we didn't do much because we immediately patched it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it like this is fresh. Nobody worked on this. You can see there's lots, 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 lots of things. And um, we get everything from like you have a hang. Those are mostly uh, things like during your loading screen, the game loads stuff in the background. And if it takes too long for our engine, our engine sends the report and says, hey, guys, take a look here. Can you, can you improve that? <laughs> so this is mostly the rift sectors, which will take a while to load. I guess you guys all noticed that the loading screens aren't too short. Um, then we get uh, like work crashes. Actually, those are the scripts the, mm -hmm. um, that are running. 
Um, one thing that we already fixed a lot is something like this uh, laser FX. Yeah, I think you, you mentioned it before. Yes, exactly. And then when I open it, you can just see we have no data actually of who this report is from. So we can't uh, go back and ask you guys what you did. <laughs> yeah, we, we know in this case uh, that there are four different users. Yes, four uh, different users um, that have this problem, but we don't know which ones. And um, we get a nice uh, sector is here, which already tells us which file to look at, which line to look at, with here is something that didn't work out. And I can even go on the report itself to see which hardware was it. That is especially important if we have um, crashes in the engine itself, because mm -hmm. then it might just be that it is one certain driver. Yes, we had this crashes. before with NVIDIA, I think. No, it was actually NVIDIA, because most of our machines, we have NVIDIA graphic cards, and there was a very forgiving <laughs> for certain types of errors. And uh, when players had then the AMDs, those are not so forgiving, <laughs> those would crash. And we didn't notice it here in, in the office. We have since then uh, invested in a, pair, <laughs> in a few uh, AMD graphic cards. So we are now testing the, for those. And the same with the Intel graphic cards. Those that, uh, the integrated cards, for example. The newer ones are actually pretty good, but the older ones were... <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, here you can yeah. see uh, an example debug log. That's basically what you have uh, written in your server logs as well with a few extra things like uh, error messages that you won't see. And then we can scroll through and we see here the error. And we see it that it happens a lot, <laughs> which means, and it, it's, it's actually true in this case, it's a client script. Client scripts, if they crash, they crash a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's in an update. So this is why we see it so much. And exactly. And I think, yeah, that's it about for the for the crash reporter um, yeah. stuff. As you can see, this is a, a definitely a developer tool. It's not very yeah. friendly to the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Uh, we we have to we know we have to work it or with it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we are getting those, um, but. Yeah, we, we also get uh, bug reports from you. So, um, okay, so I okay. uh, got, got a little feedback from the uh, 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 from our uh, master of the uh, stream uh, from the side. So, yeah, we, we have to do it like this. This is our bug reporter. Yes, and you can already see that our working stream hasn't been working today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lots of open bugs. <laughs> yeah, no, he wasn't scheduled to work today, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I think you, you prepared two or three. Yeah, I wanted to show a few examples of um, what a good bug report looks like, and what does help us. So yeah, uh, one... of course, we, we prepared stuff um, that uh, doesn't have some personal information in it. Yes. Uh, because we, we offer the, the opportunity for people to, to give us their mail addresses uh, so we can ask uh, stuff if we need to. But, of course, not everybody wants to give us uh, their mail address. Of course, and, and not everyone has to. Um, of course. But it's really, really helpful if we can't, uh, we can't understand what your uh, description is saying. Yep. Because the problem is, uh, most of the time, you guys notice, I opened this window, and then it happened. But what actually happened was a lot before, like you started the game on a certain machine, with um, you have an alliance that is running in the background, and the alliance ships did, uh, something. did something, and you didn't even notice that, and then we can't uh, reproduce the error on our side. So it's really amazing if there's a... a an email address in there so that we just can ask like hey do you not did you notice anything else have you log files for us or anything yeah but i think it's important to say that um not every bug report uh, needs this kind of no, questions no, no. you see it right there um the status is resolved so uh, 
this one. If you provide yeah. us your, your mail address, we might uh, come back to you and, and ask a question. But yeah, we, yeah, we also might be able to, to reproduce it or maybe we already know how to fix it because, of course, some bug reports are duplicates. Yeah, and or stuff. In, in the case of this bug report, it's super simple, clear cut. Hey, you guys forgot to uh, uh, fill in those markers here, the string mm -hmm. markers. Super easy. Um, this guy also, I'm assuming it's a guy, sorry, <laughs> um, also gave us uh, the exact uh, red, uh, reds that we needed to look for, which mm -hmm. was really amazing because I took it, uh, pressed uh, Control F on our project and had the file where it went wrong. Super easy to fix. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And similarly, um, here, one that's not resolved right now because we didn't have the time yet. Again, a brief description that's easy to understand. Where what happens? Perfect. And the expected behavior is, of course, uh, in this case, it's clear, but it's cool that you still noticed it. Yeah, and the st steps to reproduce are also very clear. Um, sometimes it, uh, those descriptions have to be very long, but in general, the shorter and preciser, the more uh, precise, yeah. the, the more precise, the better. Um, because if if this is like I don't know, a small book and 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 we have to read like twenty, thirty lines of text. It takes a lot of time, and uh, most of <laughs> yeah. the times it can be uh, reduced to like one or two sentences, which really describe the problem. And this helps us a lot because the less we have to read, the more time we have to fix stuff. And very important are the steps to reproduce because we need to reproduce yeah. problems to fix them because we need to know if they work after our fix. Yes. So, so um, we, we have to uh, destroy actually... it. Yeah, that's a part of how we work, uh, that you always want to have a, either a test or at least in-game yourself a case where it doesn't work. Yeah. And then you write your code to fix it, and then you try again, and then it has to work. The test has to run, or your in-game test has to work. And if that isn't a given, then it's hard to fix it. Exactly. Okay, and I think a third one is also prepared. Let's take a small look into this, yeah, which that is also report uh, uh, resolved already. Yeah, that is resolved. I don't know if it was this patch or the last patch actually. Um, super simple oversight on our part, but we needed to have someone to notify us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you guys <laughs> for <laughs> reporting bugs. <laughs> exactly. So. That's about it for the for the bug reporter, um, but yeah. we are not uh, only monitoring uh, bug reporter and crash reporters. We are also uh, reading uh, the socials, especially, especially Discord, of course. Yeah. Um, but also the the forums and uh, Reddit to to yeah get information um, on on how do you feel, yeah. feel about the DLC. Uh, how you're playing, uh, what is unclear, because not everything um, can be worked out in the bug report. For example, if you can find something in a mission, that's not a bug, so you're not filing a bug report. But uh, maybe you, you write about it uh, on Discord, and we can take a look in it, and yeah. Yeah. Maybe it might improve especially it. Especially like uh, balancing anything or even the um, the markers that we got from you, like in the rescue mission, we can't find the containers, we can't find the ships. Yeah. That was really helpful as well, because we, in our de developer sense, we had we knew exactly what we were looking for, so it was of course easy for us to find. But you guys didn't know, <laughs> and then we noticed that we had to do something about that. Exactly. And yeah, the last big thing uh, we are monitoring are. Uh, analytics about uh, rift missions. I, I think we talked about this in the last stream too a little yes. bit uh, with the service. Yeah. And uh, I 
looked it up uh, two or three hours before, and we had over 5,000 Rift missions played. Oh, nice. So we get a lot of, uh, of data from you guys, and that's great. Uh, we have a success rate of more than 50%, so that's, that's also exactly great. That's exactly what we were aiming for. Perfect. So, yeah, that, that's, that's great, and that helps us also a lot um, to, to verify yeah. what we are doing. That's amazing, yes. Okay, so... Yeah, we are, so uh, the release is done. The release is done. Next thing on the agenda. Yeah. So, at first, of course, uh, I, I or, or we already talked about it. Uh, we are doing maintenance for the DLC. Um, but on the on a longer term perspective, yeah. perspective, uh, we want to further support Avorion itself. Um, we promised that we want to support it for two years when mm -hmm. we made the release. Mm -hmm. Two years passed, but yeah, we are still going strong. We are still go still going strong. We are still loving the game, and we will yeah keep on supporting it, uh, doing patches. Um, yeah, and we have a few ideas that we want to try. If something good turns up, um, yeah. Stay tuned, <laughs> because you will know. To, uh, you will find out. And uh, yeah, and in the near future, in so, the very so in near the, future, in the next some weeks, um, yeah, we, we yeah. are happy that the tension of the DLC uh, did fall off. Yes, um, um, everything worked out as as we mentioned. And yeah, yeah. we we will take a long view vacation now. I think everyone. One after the other, so that we still always can keep an eye on what is happening with the DLC and yeah, with the main game as well, of course. It's some and summer now, and summer is festival season here. So yeah. this is actually the reason why Konsti is not here today, because he is on a festival yeah. and enjoying his time, and it's amazing that he can do that. Exactly, and yeah, that's what we're doing right now, and uh, yeah, I I think when we when our ideas. Uh, we'll get yeah. a concreter or more concrete. Yeah, we will packing. do an, another update uh, as we keep you guys posted. Don't worry about that. Exactly. So, so one last thing the... for the DLC: if you guys enjoy it, please leave us a review. Yeah. Because we are currently we have a bit of problem. Like we had a few negative reviews, and that was really rare, um, due to the mods that are unworking. Yep. Which, if we get a neg negative review and it's uh, actual feedback that we can use, we're still happy about it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that was a bit annoying. Yeah. And we are so happy whenever a, a, a positive review comes in. Exactly. So, do the reviews and yeah. help us out. If you haven't already. If you haven't already, of and course. And thank you to everyone who has. <laughs> okay. So, now to the big part. Um, the most important part. The most important part. Um, we want to, yeah, do the Q and A, yes. and to, to answer well, a few questions in Butchernikness. <laughs> okay, so first question, and um, that's actually a question that we got asked a lot: um, when the Lua files from the DLC will be moddable. Yes. Um, the answer is short and sad for you, never. Yeah, they won't. Pro um, problem here is um, if we make those Lua files public, everybody can just copy them and use them and... Yeah, we yeah. Had, wouldn't have any basic base to earn any money because this DLC is completely done in Lua. I think we have one or two files in the engine actually updated, or a bit of updating in the engine did happen, but everything else is in Lua files, which is why we have to encrypt them. So sorry, you won't be able to mod them. Okay. So, um, another question from Kandari Hu. Kind Ooh. of. Hope, hopefully, I, I pronounced it uh, the right way. Um, is there a threat level 11 in the rifts? Yes, there is. That's the, the highest threat level. Ooh. 
that's death march one or what is it uh <laughs> i think it's impossible impossible oh yes um i haven't seen it actually yeah we, we haven't seen it in the stream um but uh yeah it is there it's it's near the core so inside the barrier near the core uh, there are the high threat levels uh, with the high rift depth uh, so keep your eyes open and you will find one or two or three yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah here about uh, k not um can we uh, can we enable um, getting achievements if we are modded i'm actually not sure what the uh, what the the result of that was, but we did a community um, survey. Yes. For that, and I don't remember so anymore. I, I I don't want uh, to promise too much there, um, but we are talking about this. Oh, yeah, we, we were look. talking about this. Um, we we hadn't the time right now to to do something uh, there uh, because of the DLC, um, but we might change it can't promise too much here because we are just right now validating what we want but it's an it's something we talk about and yeah you will see okay so i'm a on on a dollar <laughs> well that was budget um if you post discord how can we be sure that you will see it um you just can be sure um depends a little bit where you post it um but on the uh Warrior discussion the, the the main discussion uh channel um we are reading it uh the other channels are also read um by by the devs and yeah we will see it um we will talk about most of it sometimes there uh, is stuff that um yeah just isn't possible for example if we get another question when we'll be able to land on planets uh well actually i promise that uh once we have the mars colony that will be possible <laughs> um but yeah we don't talk about this every time of course but uh if there are questions if there are problems we are talking about it and um yeah, so you, you basically can be sure we will see it. We won't do everything uh, that is proposed in, in the Discord, of course, because yeah, it there's things that time actually th there isn't the time. That is one thing, and on the other hand, um, there are proposals that don't work together. For example, some people, mm. I don't know, just something arbitrary, want Xotans to be weaker other want them to be stronger both yeah. can is, isn't possible so we have to uh, evaluate stuff think about it and when it fits the vision and when it's possible uh, then we will do it if not we won't of course yes and uh, yeah i've seen another question that um <laughs> we've been working on for a long time and it didn't work out yet um here Jab Geluk, or however you are pronounced, um, asks um, if there is anywhere you can buy a Warrior merch. And uh, we are still looking for um, where to, like, where to do that. We hadn't, didn't have any luck with the printers as of now, and we're still trying. But we are on it. We are trying to get it back up and running. We are doing that. <laughs> Um, there was another question um, very in the beginning of the stream. Um, if uh, we are brother and sister, oh yes, which uh, we are not. No. Uh, actually, we are married. So. Yes. Hi. hi. <laughs> so that's why we uh, share the same name. Yeah, you're way too grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so. Just. Yeah. A small personal thing in between. Um, so, um, could uh, the players from, from Canadian Sasuke, well, that was easier to say, uh, as, okay. as 
Sounds good. I, but, I don't know. Uh, Sorry, guys, if, for the names. Uh, <laughs> if a player uh, can build Rift Research Centers or Teleporters at some point, uh, I think that won't be possible uh, because they need to be near Rifts. And um, that's way too. Well. Hmm. Einschränkend? Uh, I, I missed the English word, sorry. Uh, I don't know it either. <laughs> but I'm not sure about that. I don't know. So, right if now. actually n won't allow it. It is it's not it, possible right now. It's not possible right now. Okay. Um, because, yeah, it's difficult if people want to. Um, yeah, found it somewhere where there isn't a rift. And stuff could be difficult because the research center and the teleporter work together. So I actually don't know what happens if you just have one of those in you a sector. You always have to have both. Yeah, and so, rift, so you need uh, two entities and you, you need to found uh, both at, at the same time and that isn't possible. So there are a lot of technical difficulties for this. So right now, it's not uh, uh, possible. So, yeah. Um... yeah, and I see a few suggestions. Um, I won't read them out right now because I don't want to promise anything that we haven't talked about in the team yet. But um, we'll collect those and we will definitely take them in on our next uh, sprint planning meeting to talk about if we can do them or if we want to do them. And then, yeah, we'll get you get them out to you if we do them. <laughs> okay. Not I'm not promising anything yet. Okay. So looking at the time, just yes. one last question maybe. Um. So let's let's, let's take a look. There are a lot of questions right now. Um. Um, just... I don't see actually one... So, um, if we, from, from Exit 717, if we plan, uh, plan to change the Xotan behavior in any way. Um, because uh, he wrote, I want to explore the sector and mine or salvage, but it keeps alerting the Xotan and I waste, waste my time. Uh, fighting with the limited time I have. I think that is uh, especially um, for the um, rifts, for the rift sectors, because yeah. uh, they are alerted there. Um, so we want the rifts to be dangerous. And uh, if you just want to mine, you can use the uh, explore sec uh, exploration uh, mission. Explore the unknown. Hype. Explore the unknown, yeah. It's the in game title. Mission. Yeah. Um, where are some Xotan, but or where might come some Xotan, but uh, you still have the Xotan swarm, and if you aren't careful, the environmental effects of the Xotan breeder, for example, um, uh, is creating enemies, and there's another one that creates enemies. Uh, I'm not sure which one. There is the the, the minefield also will also trigger your auto turrets, which will yeah. trigger in turn the Xotan in the sector. <laughs> so, so you have to be a bit careful there. But yeah, basically rifts are dangerous. Uh, they are not. Uh, they are just for farming. Um, but the the most easy mission, or mission because there is no actual goal um, for this, will be the explore the unknown mission. Yes. Okay. So I think. We call it a day. We call it a day. Looking at the time. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for your time. Um, Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we will see us next time. In two weeks again. And in two weeks, hopefully. Um, and, uh, until then, there will be the video on demand, of course, here on Twitch uh, and on YouTube. Please follow us on our social medias, which are linked below. When Cons isn't here, I don't have to tell them. Um, so <laughs> they, they are all uh, Yeah, you below can just look in, yeah. Down under us. The descriptions. <laughs> um, don't forget to uh, yeah, follow us there, interact there with us. 
ask us questions uh, now uh, as the DLC is done. Yeah, uh, there's we, we'd less like to, to talk about actually for from our side. Yeah. So if you guys have suggestions for us, what you guys would like to know. It can be anything, it can be our tools that we work with or what is the URL day of a game dev or anything. Basically um, anything you want uh, to know about game yes. developing uh, that we are doing, Let just us ask know. us and yeah, we will talk about it. And of course, you mentioned it before, I forgot the English word. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, the, 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 the Bewertungen on Steam. Ah, review. Yeah. Give us, give us reviews. It helps us a lot. Um, the, the wish list you did were, were great. If you know, uh, give us the reviews. This was, will help us a lot. Uh, will give us a lot of visibility. And yeah, show people what Avorion is and give new players the opportunity to find us and play this awesome game. Yes, and have fun with it. So. And have fun with it. So, until next time. Bye. Bye. Guys.